Water is the primary medium through which climate changes influences Earth's ecosystem and thus the livelihood and well-being of societies. My name is Antoine Gabert, the Artistic Director of Water for Life International Art Exhibitions. It is an international, cultural and artistic program that showcases around the world a series of artworks inspired by the theme of water. Water for Life International Art Exhibition is a continuation of the important message of the water theme that was started years ago through the artistic expression of the famous mural created by Diego Rivera and Rina Lasso at the Carcamo de Rio Lerma in Mexico City. Through the theme of water, our objective is to sensitize audiences that an important social and cultural issue, more than a billion individuals, one in seven people on the planet now lack access to safe drinking water. Today, due to climate change, higher temperatures and changes in extreme weather conditions are projected to affect availability and distribution of rainfall, snowmelt, river flows, groundwater and further deteriorate water quality. More floods and severe droughts are also predicted. Changes in water availability will also impact health and food security. The United Nations in 2018 announced that more than 2 billion people live in countries experiencing high water stress. The situation will likely worsen as populations and demand for water grows and as the effects of climate change intensify. Climate change is a complex problem that has increased the need for an integrated multi-sectorial and multidisciplinary response that would require collaboration to use and consume water efficiently. Water for Life International Art Exhibition 3rd Edition will be presented in Cancun, Mexico at the University del Caribe in the center of the Yucatan Peninsula and will provide the community with an opportunity to explore the international issue of access to safe drinking water through art. At this exhibition, Water for Life supports two important natural sources of water that needs protection in the peninsula. First, the mangroves, particularly the red mangroves who live between the sea and land in areas which are flooded by tides for part of the time. They make up one of the world's most unique ecosystem because they thrive where no other trees can survive in transition zone between the ocean and land. They can also help to reduce the impact of higher seawater level on coastal protection in the face of global climate change. The second are the thousands of cenotes found in the Mexico Yucatan Peninsula alone. Cenotes are natural swimming holes formed by the collapse of porous limestone bedrock, which has revealed a secret subterranean world of groundwater pools. The Mayas revered cenotes because they were a water source in dry times. Most of them are a great source of fresh, accessible groundwater that also needs our protection. All distinguished participating artists in the Water for Life International Art Exhibition 3rd Edition are selected based on their recognition by international art critics. This exhibition will feature numerous international artists from multiple countries displaying their artworks, with a focus on the theme of water and the fact that water is the essence of life. Several important organizations share the same vision to protect water for our future and the future of our kids. Water for Life partnered with the Universidad del Caribe, Sentinelas del Agua organization, Alternative and the Rio Secreto. 
We hope that the theme of water of this international art exhibition will sensitize the public about the fact that still today, more than a billion individuals, one in seven people on the planet now lack access to safe drinking water. Don't miss this opportunity to join this event and support this important social cause in our next Water for Life International Art Exhibition 3rd Edition in Cancun, Mexico. Thank you for watching.